Hello, my beautiful, beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I am so thrilled you're here today. We're going to be working on our design team project for a jeweled design. And we're gonna be working with her beautiful Vintage Christmas Joy Kit. And the thing about this kit is it is very vintage, very Victorian and retro all together. Uh, it's got everything we could possibly want for what we do. So it's going to be a process video, not a how-to. Um, so you'll see my process through the whole thing. I know a lot of you really enjoy these and have asked for more of the process videos. So here they are. Um, and I've got all my Christmas goodies on. So I thought I was, I'm trying to channel Christmas. It's October and Monday morning. So, you know... We're not really ready but we got to be because we work in the retail world and we need to be ahead of the game otherwise we get behind and then our things aren't ready in time for Christmas and I personally get nothing done in December I cannot I'm so busy uh, prepping for the holiday itself and decorating and all the other stuff I don't have time to craft so it is now or never so this kind of just pushes me to get going and you know do our things so i'm going to check the camera just to make sure we got a brand new modem and a brand new um router and we've gotten everything we think we can do to make this thing go faster we figured out what we were doing wrong with youtube so hopefully things are good in youtube land Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Okay, so this is my setup for today. This is to show you all the papers and things, and all I did my fussy cutting are cut out and ready to go. I didn't uh, do the teeny tiny ones, but we'll do those as we go if we need them. So I'm going to move off all the goodies here, make a little pile to my side of, uh, whoops, of all my little pretties. I'll put those off to the side. I'm gonna pull these off. These are all my fussy cuts ready to go. And my papers, I've printed extra papers. We have a music paper we're going to use. Um, we've got all these papers. I've got extra words. I've printed some other fussy cuts and my lace, um, my little lace um, digital. I'm going to use the cream if I do use it today. I'm not sure I need it, but we'll, I don't know what I need till I get to work. So we're doing our best just to make sure we have a bit of everything. I've done as much pre-prep work as I can so that it's not too tedious for you, um, hopefully. And I'm going to pull my pretty lace off because I believe... I'm thinking about using a piece of this lace on the cover of my um, folder. We're going to be making an envelope uh, folder today. And so um, I was thinking about possibly pull this off using a piece. Um, just give me a second. I'm looking for the top and the bottom of this. Okay. I was thinking to give it some dimension, possibly using a piece. You know, I have everything. I paperclip everything in when I'm working on a project so I don't lose everything. Um, because, you know, it's easy to forget what's going to go where and what you want to do. And so I'm thinking for my front and back cover, even though we have two different styles, which I wanted, of putting the lace over it um, and then adding, hold on a minute, I'm knocking all my pretties onto the floor. So I'm going to move those off my work table. So I don't break my pieces. So I'm thinking... You don't really see that much lace, so I don't know if it's even worth doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm wondering if it'd just be better to add the lace to the ends. Oh, I wish you guys could talk to me. Hmm. Someday I'll do a live, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. I'm not experienced enough to do a live. And I'd have to have Jolene or Greg reading me comments because I can't craft and look at a um, computer screen at the same time. So do we want... You really don't see... Well, you see it a little. So it might be worth doing for just another dimension. All righty, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. So what I need to do is, I hate to cut this up because I use this for backgrounds all the time, but I also did buy it to use. 
well, it was for sewing projects. I was making lace um, gift bags and way back when. You know what? I'm going to move these papers away because I'm going to end up cutting something I shouldn't cut. Normally I do this on my cutting table, but we're just going to, oh, those scissors are not going to, excuse my reach. Well, welcome everyone. I'm so happy you're all here. Before we get going, I want to say welcome, welcome to you all. Welcome to my brand new subscribers. I know you're new to my channel. I've got quite a few of you and I'm happy that you're here. And hugs and kisses to all of my longtime viewers who have been watching me for the last six months when I started this. Thank you. Thank you for hanging in there with me and commenting and liking. Please continue to comment so I know you're there because I don't see a lot of your names now. And I don't know if you're still watching or if you quit me and have moved on to someone else. So I kind of need to know who's watching and who isn't. Um, you can just do a quick, hey, I'm here or hi or, you know whatever a little something something would let me know you're there would be great those of you who are used to commenting i know some of you just aren't comfortable commenting and that's okay i'm happy that you're here i know a lot of you don't comment that's okay i mean i wish you were commenting but for those of you who are new i do respond to your comments every time now if for some reason i don't it's because it came in at a weird time or with another uh video and sometimes youtube isn't great about showing them to me so Occasionally, I miss one here and there, but I really, and then if I do see it, when I do, I will go back and comment, so check your notifications on comments, so you'll know I did, because I always, always, always respond, always, and I mean, if I haven't, it's because YouTube hid it from me. Sometimes, it's funny, it'll say I have 35 comments, and I see 12. It's like, what? Where's the other, you know, half of those? So, you know, you never know what you're going to get sometimes. And I'm not complaining about YouTube. It's just how it is. Everybody says it. So it is what it is. So I'm going to put up this mat because we're going to glue. And I don't want to, I want to cover more of my table than I have. Um, so before we get going, I do want to do a couple quick little shares I want to share with you. I did get my order in, a couple of orders from Amazon. And I got the Power Punch. And this is that fun shape, tag shape. So I did get that in and I'm super excited to give it a try because I think it's what I want on my big tags that I use all the time. And then I have a straight slot one and of course I have the little round punch. So we have all kinds of ways to, to have punches. But I saw Gail use this, went over to her website, to her favorite things, found it and ordered it through her website. So thank you, Gail, because I would have never known which one to order if I didn't see it on there. So you told us which one to order. So I thought I'd share that with you. I, I hopefully get to use it today. I don't know if I'll get that far. Probably not. <laughs> then I was going to share a couple other quick little Etsy's with you. I got in my stamps from Patrick and Christina Hill on Laser and Leather Store on Etsy. And I had ordered some more, some different vintage tags than Lorna has. So <clears throat> I love Lorna's, um, but I want to try out Christina Hills, and so I have a bunch of brand new, um, and I don't have pictures to show you yet because they literally just came in before I did the video, so I'm going to have a play with these, and then I'll have to show you guys what I did. I, I put these pieces into my kits, as a lot of you know, so I'm very, very excited to get these. Super, super excited, so Christina, I hope these are everything I want them to be. I'm sure they are. Everybody raves about them. Uh, I shot. I saw Tina on Shabby Dabby Doo Dah um, show them off. So, and then I ordered some custom um, little goodies from Shar's Crafty Shop on Etsy. I just contacted her and asked her if she could make these for me. I didn't see anything in her shop, so I asked her to please make me some. I'm gonna move these aside just a little bit. Some pretty hearts. I have a project. Some projects I want to use these on, and I didn't have any hearts. I have lots of beautiful flowers from Claudia. But I didn't have these lovely hearts with words, and I really, really wanted some. And so as a thank you, she made me some in my shabby colors when I told her what kind of work I did. I wanted I wanted a variety, so that was great. But I, was, I told her that I would love to have them in my shabby colors. And so she was absolutely kind enough to do that for me and make some things that I could use actually in my journals because this is for something that kind of goes with the journals when I sell them. But these are actually going to get used on my journal and journal pieces. So thank you, my sweet friend, Char. Um, these are fabulous. She's a new friend. Um, we just met. So, you know, we're, we're getting to know each other and what we like and stuff. So 
but she made these for me. I cu she custom made these for me. So thank you so very much. They're going to go on to that project that I'm doing. When I do it, I will share that with you guys. You know, I will show you what I make from all the goodies I get if I'm making something right away. So I'm going to stick that in my bucket. I need to put a little snap on the top. So, oh gosh, I have a bunch that don't have their snaps. Oh, I guess I need to do, I need to sit down and do a whole snap session. <laughs> Whoops. They should look like this. They should have their little snaps on the top. So looks like I've been, I use these pouches for everything. And I have to tell you, I just bought my second 100 set of pouches. Crazy, right? Oh my gosh, crazy. I know. But I love the way they hold all my stuff because they're firm and they keep things from running around my table. I also use my, still use my little plates, but I'm wearing my um, Christmas bracelet and it, I have so much swelling in my arm from my arthritis that I can barely get it around my wrist. Normally this thing hangs off me. It literally falls off my hand. So it just shows you how much swelling I'm dealing with from using my hands and arms all the time. Oh my. All right, let's get the old Fabri-Tac here. I'm going to turn it upside down and get it going. And we're going to Fabri-Tac this on. Uh, does this, let me make sure, let me check my top and bottom side to make sure I've got it on the side I want it on. Yeah, and I had it upside down. My goodness. And then I want to see which way I want my flowers to go, although you're not really going to see them, but that's okay. So we're going to make a cover for this lovely, um, this is made, before we get going, from a file folder, okay? And not a file folder. Sorry, you guys. No sleep at all last night. Again, I'm, I've gone sleepless. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I think it's one of my medications is that I take for my migraines keeping me awake. So makes me sleepy when I take, but then later I'm wired. So what I did is I took a big mailing envelope. Uh, I got them off of Amazon. And I went um, for the absolute cheapest envelope they had. They're called Amazon Basics. This one's the 9 by 12. They did have them bigger. I have the bigger sizes, but it's really difficult to work with with our papers. So um, I ordered these. They come in 100 The price was great because it was an Amazon Basic. I think I like paid 9 bucks for these. It was just like super cheap. Um, so that's what I'm using. And... I'm going to get an envelope. I haven't left you. I'm on the floor. I've run out of space, so I'm on the floor. So it started out like this. Just a basic white mailing envelope. And folded it in half. And then I cut it down the sides. And I put in a little pocket. And it's giving me my pages. And I trimmed it here. So you'll see that as we go along. And I can demonstrate it. Um, guess I could just make one for you guys really quick, right? Before we get going on this project. You need to know how to do the base, right? So this is not my idea. I saw it on a YouTube channel and I honestly couldn't tell you who because I watch these things in the middle of the night when I can't sleep and I'll watch dozens all night long. So I'm not sure where I saw this basic project from. It might have been G. Kerr. I don't know. Or it was Angela, I, I'm honestly, I'm sorry, I don't know. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to barely cut the edges and cut from your open side to your fold here. If you cut from the folded side out, it's going to go off. So if you do it this way, where your fold's up here, it will cut into the fold and it won't go wonky on you. Okay, so tip number one. All right, we're gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna make sure it's kind of lined up and we're just gonna take the edge off and hopefully, I mean just the edge. I'm probably cutting a little bit more, but I don't need it quite this tall. So, all right, now what you get when you open it up is you get this, see? All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do, I am going to, excuse my reach and my head and whatever else is in the video, okay. I'm gonna punch this because this is going to become a pocket. All right, I usually use a smaller punch, but for this, because it's a big project, what's going to happen is we're going to glue this closed. And so you're going to have cover, first page, second page, third page, fourth page, 
And because we've glued down through the middle there, you're going to have a pocket up here, all right? But I'm not gonna do that to the very end because you're gonna wanna decorate in this little part right here. The next thing you would do is put this in your paper cutter, and I'm not sure if it will fit in my little paper cutter or if I'm gonna cut it by hand. Let me see if this will fit in here. And you wanna get rid of the little smiley face we have here. I got a little bit of a smile here. We don't have a grumpy envelope, we have a pretty happy one. I might have to have my husband go turn on the air conditioner. It is hot in here today. We're funny. We went from 70 degree days back to 90 degree days again. We've gone 90, 70, 90. And then after I think today or tomorrow, we're supposed to drop back down into the 60s and get some rain all of next week, which would be Monday through Friday somewhere. Thursday, I think we're going to get rain. You're going to see this on Monday. I'm filming this on Saturday. So you'll have it first thing Monday morning. There's going to be multiple um, parts to this. So, all right, now we, and we're going to keep this flap. You can do two things. You can turn it into a nice little, um, excuse me, not there. You're going to turn it in, you could be a side tuck, or you can use it as the flap to your cover. Okay, so it's up to you as what, if you want it to be your flap. Okay, so there you have your base. Now that's great because now I have another base ready to go for another project. I'm really excited about that. So, sorry, I turned away from the camera a minute there. Okay. Sorry, this chair's gotten very noisy. <clears throat> it doesn't want to roll at all. I'm going to have my husband work on it today. It's because I'm trying to roll it across carpet on my with my heavy you-know-what on it. So, <sighs> anyway. Okay, i got to move the paper clip. I, do I want to get lace on that? And if I do, do I want paper on that? So this would be my time to decide what I would like to do. Oh, looks like a little Amazon's here today. I have a couple more things coming in, but I didn't think I had a delivery today, but maybe I don't. Probably my neighbor has it. All right, this front room, you hear every little thing. I think I have some leftover bits from when I cut these down. Uh, what have I got? Hmm, I just have these two. So, let me think now. If I close this up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is crazy. I'm trying to... That's not going to work. Maybe I'll... Nope, I can't. So, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a chance. I won't remember. I'll be asking you guys, which one goes where? You watch. So inside, next side, back side. Hopefully I'll remember that, maybe. I change my mind all the time, so who knows. All right, so if I close this, I've already kind of put a little bit of a um, spine here, just a little tiny one, to give it some room. Because you know, we always put things in these. I may decide this is m more work than it's worth and just glue the whole thing down. I'm, I'm, I'm going back and forth on that. I love a flap. I have a thing about flaps. So, all right, we're gonna do the flap. So if it's closed, what do I wanna see? Do I wanna see polka dots? Oh, how cute. That would be cute, right? Don't you think? Let me see. Where's my little girl that's going on the top? No, nope, that's not it. What'd I do with it? There she is. Oh, I think the polka dots would be darling with her. What do you guys think? I think that's very cute. Okay, all right. Then I'll just cover the whole thing with lace. That'll work. All right, I got it. I think I'm, I think I'm. The only thing is, okay, so if I'm gonna put that there, I need to go ahead and ink this and then cut it, but I need what's gonna be close to that edge to be inked in advance. I know I'm gonna cut some of this off, but I have no way of knowing what, so we'll do it that way. All right. Hmm, if I had put this side over here, these would have matched. Ah, oh well. Oh well. Let's just glue this on. I won't be sewing this because the way it's put together, you can't sew it or it will um, be too hard. You can't get into it. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to, you could, I'm sure you could find a way if you're really into that. If you really want to stitch part of it, give it a shot. I'm just not going to do it. 
All right, and I'm gonna put lots and lots and lots of glue on it. I'm gonna line it up to the best of my ability. I might have my head in there, I'll try not to. I'm getting a little bit better at not doing it. All right, there we go. I'm gonna make sure it's gonna bend. Yep, we're gonna bend. My part. And you're probably thinking, well, wait, that's square. I mean, that's rectangular. You know, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off to match. The only thing, I hate to pull that off there, but I'll go ahead and cover it as soon as we're done here because that's a sticky back. So big time sticky back closure. Hey, come on now. That sticky back closure wants to stick to my scissors. Alrighty. That was not my best cutting job, you guys. But I'm doing it in the air. I'm hanging on to a really awkward, long envelope. That's way off my desk. Alright, that's not what I wanted. I think what I'm going to do, well, yeah, okay, all right, I don't want to ink or anything right now, no inking and thinking going, oh, and I'm wearing my Gale shirt today, I'm wearing my Talk Amongst Yourself shirt, which I love Gale's, when she, first time she said that, I was drinking a cup of coffee, and I literally spit it out all over the kitchen, it was like, what? It's the cutest thing I've ever heard. I love it. Hello, Gail. So what I'm going to do, is that gonna, that's not going to cover enough. Uh, is this going to cover enough? This one will. Oh, it's super sticky. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. gosh, you guys. Well, it's stuck on there now. It's not coming off because it'll rip the whole envelope. <sighs> be careful, you guys, when you're working with this stuff. If you buy these envelopes from Amazon, be aware. They are sticky. Very, very, very sticky. Okay. But I'm planning to have something right here, so I'm sure it'll be okay. I mean, I'll be covering it up. It'll be fine. Now, we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to trim all around it. Oh, excuse me. The air conditioner is on. I do not want it to dry out my glue stick. And like I said, it is, well, it's noon right now. I'm getting, it's getting on lunchtime, about 1230. And uh, so it's getting really warm in here. I was supposed to do the early morning. I was supposed to film two this morning, but we had the Spectrum guy come out to fix our, give us a new router and modem. So, and then check the speed throughout the house and Check our download speed, because here we're blaming things on YouTube that were probably, oh, I was hoping around those corners, but that's okay. Probably not gonna really notice it once I put the lace on there anyway. So now we've got a good, firm, strong flap. All right, so I've been asked by a lot of my new people, um, what kind of paper do I use? I use 30 Hammer Mill 32 pound printer paper for, my regular um, uh, copies, like for the inside pieces, background, and journal pages. I use Epson presentation paper, 48 pound, for all of my ephemera and my cover pieces, okay? So um, that is what I use, and I get it all on Amazon. The Epson's almost impossible to find right now, uh, they're having trouble getting from their supplier, so good luck on that. But there's plenty of presentation papers out there. Just go for the heaviest one uh, or a very light cardstock. That is bright white. Bright white cardstock will get you a better and matte finish. Uh, you can do matte finish photo paper. Um, just make sure it's matte finish because then the photo paper and or the presentation paper will keep the ink from bleeding and it'll keep it very true and very clear. 
If you use a cheap printer paper, then you're going to get a cheap looking color copy that doesn't look great and don't blame it on the designer. That is your printer and you. Okay, so sorry, I'm, I get on my soapbox sometimes because people say, oh, they didn't do a good job on there. And it's like, no, it's you. You picked a crappy, sorry, excuse my language, uh, not a good paper and you're not gonna get a good print. If you do it cheaply, that's what you're gonna get. Okay, you get what you pay for, honestly and truly. Really, really, really. I do get on my soapbox because I am a businesswoman and I have been one my whole life. And I was a business consultant. I taught people to grow their businesses and what they needed to do to be successful. And a lot of those businesses, if not all of them, are still in business today. So I think I have a little a little knowledge there. I do still consult periodically, but for people in the crafting industry who are out there, the ones who don't believe me and don't listen to me are already gone. So, okay. Not that I know everything because I don't, but I know some things. I know I love all of you and I want to thank you for coming along and watching and making projects with me or hanging out with me. I'm here for you. I'm not here for me. I mean, I enjoy this. It's really good therapy when you're under stress and stuff. But now the only problem is once I covered that, I lost my little spine. So now I'm going to have to create another spine. Um, a little bit of, I need to give myself some wiggle room to close this. So it's not going to be this long a uh, flap. We don't need a really long flap, a little flap's okay. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to, I am going to figure out, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because I can't really see. I wanna add like a quarter of an inch. So let me take this off my desk so I can see my lines here. Let me get my flap on the line. Okay. Then I'm going to find my quarter inch down at the bottom here. Let's go right there. Try to be as straight as I can. Ha ha. We'll give it a shot. I don't know that that's going to do it. I'm going to go to my half inch mark on this mat. All right. That might be too much, but a lot of times when you bend these, you don't really, I'm not doing a scoreboard. The one I have, I hate. I was going to buy a new one, but I don't know. I don't even know if I'd use it. All right. I think that might work. Gosh, you guys, I hope I got it deep enough. Okay. Somebody said if you bend it over your ruler, I know I'm down on the bottom of the screen. Sorry. I got that up a little bit. I have to be able to see what I'm doing because I wear close-up glasses. Ugh. Man, this is thick with the two layers and the envelope. <laughs> I don't know if I can fold that, you guys. Yeah. I use Scotch Create glue, and when it dries, it makes it much thicker, gives it a little more heft. So, gives it some body. It's a little crooked. <sighs> I was worried about that. Okay, and that did lift my glue, so I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue. Because it's wet, so it just, where's my, I get a dry one here dry wet one. I don't use paper towels because they shed like crazy. I don't want paper towel on my, or they rip and I end up with paper towel in my glue and I don't like that. So, okay, I see a little tiny. Wait, did I put this on crooked? No. Oh no, that's the inside I see. Whew, I was like, did I? What did I do? 
Now, there we go. We got a little bit of a spine to give us some room. We need a little wiggle room in there. See, we need that little bit of wiggle room so we can fill this up with some goodies. Otherwise, we can't put anything in there. What good would that do? I'm gonna wanna put some kind of a journal or notebook in there at some point, just something little. It's all about the folder here and all the pockets we're gonna put in and all the ephemera. So, as you know, I'm into ephemera. Now we're ready. Okay, now we're ready to do our lace glue. Whew, we went all the way around the block on that one, didn't we? <laughs> uh, I took a really long side track, side trip. All right. Oh, I'm getting a pile of stuff again. You know how much that thrills me, right? I seem to like on the right side of my desk, really pile up the tools. So I'll well, move my, couple of my things there. I'm gonna bring back up my little glue board. This is just a Dollar Tree mat that I use. Ugh, that tape was driving me crazy. I thought that way I could tell which mat was which if I had that on there, but shh, it's not working for me. So not working. Now we have given this a chance to, then I'll trim it once I get all everything glued on. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wasn't planning that when I cut it very well. Oh, this is gonna be tight. I'm gonna be like right on the edge of that. Mm-hmm. I'll turn this around anyway because I cut it the other way. Yeah, I did, so. All right, fingers crossed we can do this right. And I'm gonna get my, oh, where did my little lid for my, oh, it's in the bottom, it's stuck to the bottom of the jar. Well, that's not a good thing. I should have took it off before I threw it in there. Now the whole cap's full of glue. Ah, that's never a good thing ever, 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 because then I can't get the lid back on and I'll end up having to throw this one away. Ah, darn it. Okay, I've got to get into the swing of the thing here. Honestly, I've been in a migraine cycle for about a week, and I've kind of kept right on going, but honestly, I'm getting tired from the migraines and all the meds, so I love, love, love to craft, so here I am, crafting anyway. There we go. Ooh, I got that out. Man, these little pokey tools are good for stuff, right? I hate to throw these away. I mean, I have gone through so many of these little pointer cap thingies from. All right, there we go. Let's get busy here. I'm fussing around, you guys. I'm sorry. I was going to glue it. I was going to put it on the lace, which I usually do. But my thought is I'm just going to put it right on the paper. Lots and lots of Fabri-Tac. And I missed the book, which is why I have the mat on here. <laughs> oh, this smells crazy. I don't have the window open and the air conditioner is not on. I need to go turn it on. I'm cooking in here. Like a turkey in the oven. Like a little Christmas turkey. I feel like I should have Christmas music on, but I know we're not allowed to do that, so. <laughs> okay. To find out from YouTube if there's Christmas music I can use in the background if I wanted to. Not that I would, but I mean, I'm just curious what I'm allowed to use. I mean, I'd love to play it in the room, like in as like white noise, you know. So when I'm not talking, you guys hear something besides me breathing. Oh, what news do I have to share with you? Oh, I'm just getting a new. Just trying to figure out our electronics has been. So much fun. My husband and I are older and we were not raised with technology. I mean, we watched it change rapidly in our lifetime. We're not super old, but we're also not teenagers and not in our 20s. So we are really pedaling hard. My kids are really proud of us for keeping up with times doing YouTube videos at my age. And my husband taking over, you know, posting it and, you know, downloading it and writing all the descriptions and helping me. He's just like 
amazed at us. And of course, our daughter's very proud of us as well because she works with me in the business. So, ah, <laughs> <sighs> you know, our our kids are pretty happy. But what I was starting to say is. Sometimes when things go wrong, we cannot figure out what the heck. So we start watching YouTube videos. We're, we're YouTube makers, but um, content makers. But we have to sometimes watch a YouTube to figure out what are we doing wrong? Why is my phone not working right? Or why is this not loading? I just wasn't born with that knowledge. My little girl, who's 40-something, uh, was born with it. Literally, it was the age that computers were starting at her daycare. They had a computer. And so at three and four years old, she was sitting at a computer playing and learning. And so to her, it comes very natural. So my son, not so much. He was into sports, so he never paid attention to computers. He's younger. You would think he would know more, but it doesn't come as natural to him as it does to my daughter. Thank goodness, because she's a graphic artist, a digital graphic artist. So that's her profession. She's a professional. All right. Not too much glue because I use my little silicone spatula, which doesn't, this stuff doesn't stick to like it does our hands. It's a little off here, but I will more than likely put something on the edge of this, you know, uh, a lace or a ribbon or something. So it's fine if it doesn't come all the way over. I'll just also have to make sure. I ink the living daylights out of that side there. Darn it. I wish I was paying attention. I only cut it to go to here and then realized I might want to put it on the lip. So that's okay. Everything can be fixed. Nothing's permanent. We've got a good stick down on this. Super thrilled with that. Now, I'm going to have to be careful not to cut my inside pages. Get my fabric scissors out. And we're going to trim this up. I don't think you guys have ever seen me make a cover before. I mean, you saw me, uh, if you watched my um, old Paris lace, you saw me decorate it, but I don't think you, I don't remember if in my 10 videos, if I actually did any, um, put the lace or the papers on. I think it was already done by the time I showed it. And I think I had started even putting the laces and stuff on and I let you watch me finish it, you know, add more pearls and things. I can't remember. That was a long project. This should be two or three videos max, hopefully. But I would like to do start to finish on this, so we'll see. It depends if my other design team project comes in, then I may have to put this down and um, work on that. We'll see. Or I'm going to be working on two at the same time. Yikes, that's always fun. Especially if you get confused. <laughs> uh, all right, into the lace jar you go, my little bits. Well, maybe not these little bits. These can go in the garbage. Oh, look how pretty. Now that was just a plain old envelope a few minutes ago, and now we are working our way to a cute little cover. All right, let's get our papers on. <clears throat> Let me find the back side of that. Okay, where did the back go? Oh, there's the back. I should know where the back is because I um, did some pretty little cutouts. I did some punch outs with some Martha Stewart punches to decorate the edges, so. And you know, guys, this may be as far as we're going to get today. I see that my time is running out. Only when I say that because I am due to have lunch with my hubby. So yes, time is running out. I gotta go have lunch with him. I have a lunch date today. It is Saturday, you know. Can't work him 24 seven, poor guy. I mean, I've been He's been working like crazy on our house for the last few months, all summer long, from May on, with a retaining wall, big giant um, railroad ties the stairs up the big giant retaining wall, the hill we have behind our house, or part of our yard. And now the fence, he put in a whole side fence up that hill, long stretch, which spans a couple houses. So it was, it was a big job. He didn't do it by himself, but 
boy. I will put a lace spine on. I am going to make sure we see a little bit of this. I, I want us to see that. Okay, what did I do with my card? Did you guys see it? Did I get up and leave? Did I leave it on my desk? I might have left it on my desk. I was working on my desk today while the uh, te technical guy was here, the repairman. Hmm. Okay. I see some stray bits. But as we add laces, you won't see it. Alrighty. Front, back. Time for back. This time I'm putting it on the paper instead of the lace. I'm sure I'll be adding more glue, you know, because you know, it's hard to get it to stick to the lace evenly. If it looks like I'm squeezing this hard, I kind of am. But that's what I love about these bottles. You can do that super hard on my hands though. Yikes. Tomorrow I'll be like, why does my hand hurt? <laughs> I don't know. Can't imagine. My husband will be laughing at me. I'm like, honey, what did you do yesterday? Oh. I told you in one of my videos I was going to go down and decorate for fall. Still haven't done it. I ended up with the beginning of that migraine cycle that day. And um, I was out for the count for a few days. So there are still boxes sitting all over my living room. Because I do a big decorating thing. Oh, cute, cute, you guys. Cute. I did not put a spine in here. Uh, you know, a, like a, a little spine. Because I just don't think we need it. All right, now we're going to go to the inside, and this is where it gets tricky. None of the papers, and this printed pretty much full page, <clears throat> covered this whole, because our papers are only eight and a half, and this is a nine inch folder. So that means we either have to lay the pages long ways and put your page down on top of it, or we can do some collaging around the edges and just place that in the middle of that collaged edge. So. I'm not really sure what I need to do. Um, if I do, oh my gosh, I'm throwing projects all over the floor. <laughs> paper clips everywhere. Now those papers you saw me pull off my desk this morning are what we're gonna be working with. I did, okay, no wait, those are for the journals, for the journal. So I do wanna take these out of here I have a stack right here that are backed. So I wanna make sure that those get used. Let me make sure I got them all out of there. No, I didn't, okay. These that have the back are for, if I decide to make a journal or a TN journal or a full size journal or anything like that. So I want to pop a paper clip on these, put them in my folder to make sure that they do not get mixed in with the things I'm gonna cut up. So that would be a tragedy because I don't wanna reprint the backs. Like I said, I'm low on my papers, so <clears throat> I wanna make sure that I use them sparingly. Let me make sure that in this pile there are no more that have backs. Okay, so what I did was I printed a bunch of basic pages. This is printed on the 32 pound to use here to like do this with, right? To go up the sides and cover the page. Or my other option is to take papers, music page and otherwise, and go around the edges. So what I might do is kind of a little combination of both. So what I need is I need nine inch high. Oh, shoot, this paper cutter only goes to six. Hmm. Do I have a template? No, I don't have a template. You know what guys, I highly recommend when you start a project, whether it's a book or whatever, if you're gonna be doing a lot of cutting, Make yourself a template because 
Then you have something to put on any size cutting board that you have. I'm going to see if I have anything I can make a template with. I don't think this is nine. Oh, you know what? It just is, but it's ripped, so it won't work. It got caught in my, my printer and had a horrific accident. <laughs> Poor thing. It wasn't good. It wasn't pretty. It really wasn't pretty. So I'll just get a piece of... Oh, I'm still here. I'm getting a piece of cardstock or paper or something. Let's just get a piece of paper and see that's not nine this is the nine so I have to bring out Big Bertha we're going to run out of time here in just a few minutes so because my husband is going to pick us up some lunch and we're gonna have lunch and maybe watch a movie have a little downtime together and then I'm gonna make another video but I try to make sure we do date night or date something um, so that we spend some time together. That's how you stay married 44 years. And we were childhood sweethearts. So I'm gonna make myself a template. Okay, we're gonna put it just a little under the nine. Okay, so hopefully that is as high as the envelope and I gauged that correctly. Yeah, it's just a little bit under. So I'm actually gonna, I want it to, I mean, it's a little over, so I'm gonna just move it down a little. Because I forgot, I cut off the sides to open it up. There, that's correct. All right, now, what's our width is... This is going to save me in the long run, you guys. I know it's tedious for you. It's about six. So, let me make sure. This is my nine. Yep, that's short of it, so that's the right one. Because I've done this before. Where I cut off my height, and then I was like, oh, man, I have to start over. Six. Got a little scrap paper. Let's make sure this fits. And I can go through and cut my papers. I could. I just ran out of time to cut any more papers. I could not do any more paper cutting. All right, so we have a template. Sample page nine by six all right because I'll be doing this again so I mean for other you saw me just make one a minute ago up oh, there goes my husband he's going off to get lunch all righty well I think we're having Taco Bell today yay chicken chalupa woohoo special treat on the weekend otherwise I have to eat a special diet all the time so I break my diet on the weekend all righty Yes. All right. This will work. Now, now, hee hee, I can use this. Okay. Let's see if my brainchild worked or whether I just wasted 10 minutes, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I love this little paper cutter because it's not heavy. I know I had the other big one out and I could have cut them all. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's in the way it's hard for me to work with and I have to stand up to do it. It's a big pain in my, you know what? So um, I'm going to cut, so that's the length. Of course, that doesn't fit in there, right? But this does. So we'll cut off the bottom. <laughs> We're going to cut off the bottom. It's going to be bottomless. And I'm going to line this up. I don't know. Is this the hard way to do it, guys? I guess I should just probably let the big one out. I could be done already, couldn't I? Oh, you know, this is a process video, and this is my process. This is how I find out what to, this is how I find out how to do stuff, you know. I go, oh, wait, that doesn't work, you know. Don't do that again. There we go. Once I get a rhythm going, I'll be able to just cut, 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 and it'll be quick, you know. Oh, but this one does do six. Okay, that's good. I can do the six on here. There we are. I'll get it going. Oh, no, I included that. Mm. This is what happens when you do not sleep, girl. 
you've got to find a way to sleep. Well, once the migraine cycle's over, then I'll start sleeping again and I'll probably sleep hard for days. I may spend an entire day in bed, but I've had these cycles my whole life and it's something I've just learned to live with. But trying to do YouTube videos does become a little bit more of a challenge for me. I mean, it is the hair too long. Even though I cut that down more, you saw me. I think it's my cutting when I cut the folder open. I, I um, got crazy with it. Okay, so I think this one is going on the green. Yeah. And then what I may do is add a little, some things around it. Um, but, you know, I just realized there's going to be a pocket right here. You're not going to see this little girl. There's going to be a big pocket at the bottom of this. Okay. I thought I thought that out, but apparently I did not. Let me move her to another page. She can go somewhere else or I can cut a new one. Um, Santa two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. I didn't give myself any pages that I could cover. I thought I did. Well, hmm. I don't want to cover this one because it's got the pretty lace. So I definitely won't do that. Why don't we put Joy on there? Because I could put the pocket on the bottom there. That would work. All right, that'll work. And then my thought is, do I want to round the corners? I think I do because I've got a little too much square going on here and it's bugging the living daylights out of me. Oh, and before we go today, I have to share something really fun with you guys. I almost did when I found it, when it happened. I... I almost did a video like just for this one thing that happened and <laughs> you guys would have thought, oh my gosh, she's lost her mind, but it was so funny. I don't know if you remember, for those of you who've been following me since the beginning, um, my daughter and I, as soon as COVID, we were released from our pandemic lockdown, we went out to our favorite um, thrift store that supports our hospital and we went and had a thrift shop and so... Of course, they were heavily loaded from people dropping stuff off during the pandemic, cleaning out their closets. So it was the perfect time to go. We came home with just loads of stuff and I did a full video on it. And you can find it in my listing there somewhere under, in my videos. Um, probably see Crafty Hall or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, if you just go down to my playlist, you'll see uh, videos or playlist or whatever. I'm not sure where we put it. It's not under playlist, but it's under videos. You'll find it. Anyhow make a long story short here I'll go there in just a minute I promise I'm gonna finish my sentence now see I don't know if I like that as much with the green I think I would have liked that better with the I'm looking at my pages okay guys I'm gonna have to rethink this so um, we're almost our time's up so We'll work on that uh, next time. As soon as I have lunch, I'm going to turn the camera back on. So you'll have a video for Monday and Wednesday and probably Friday all under this Christmas. But we did get the cover done and I feel like the basic cover's done. It will be getting decorated heavily. Um, but I feel like the basic's done and I feel like we, we made a good start on getting this project going. So um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Anyway, to the thing I've been just hemming and hawing and fussing about and haven't got to yet is as we were buying goodies, we were just grabbing things and I saw something with a ruffly edge on it and I thought, oh, I, I should get that. You know, I could use that on my covers and it was uh, $8 and I thought, well, you know, and it had a piece of tape on it that said four yards and I thought, well, okay, you know. I can use this on covers. I can use it to scrunch. I can use it for all kinds of fun things. And when I took off the tape that was wrapped around it, this thing popped open. It is four full yards. It is humongous. So I'm laughing because it literally exploded on my desk and all around the room because it was very springy. And when I opened it, you guys, look what I saw. I don't know if you could see this on camera. I'm going to stand up and look. But there is this tufting on all the fabric. 
and there's a little rose with a bling piece in the middle. And it's all over the whole entire piece. Look at this. Everywhere. They're all over it. I don't know if this was a curtain, a bedspread, a bridal gown. I don't know what it was, but there's eight yards, of, four yards of it. And it's 56 inches wide, which is just amazing. So I jackpot jackpot for eight bucks i got all of this and i can use this in my work for those of you who just watch me making things you know what i'm going to do with this stuff so um in fact i was thinking about using it on one of the envelopes i was doing in my last video so now this thing of course i've taken <laughs> the rubber bands off and it's gone crazy i won't even tell you how much is here so anyway i almost did a whole video on it because i was so excited i was just bouncing off the walls and my husband comes in and he's like what are you doing and I'm buried under all this and he's cracking up and we're trying to corral it and put it away. So we had our laugh for the day. So I had to share that with you guys. I just thought it was something fun to end our video with today. So I want to thank you for coming along and watching. Please remember to comment and give me a like and a thumbs up on my video. And keep watching. Tell your friends about it so we can continue to grow our little group. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous Monday and a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday with it part two, and we'll move right along on that. So I love you all very much. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.